हेलो एवरीवन, आई एम डॉक्टर रेवत लक्ष्मण सीनियर कंसल्टेंट ऑर्थोपेडिक्स एंड जॉइंट रिप्लेसमेंट एट मणिपाल हॉस्पिटल सरजापुर सो टुडे आई एम हियर टू टॉक अबाउट अ वेरी कॉमन प्रॉब्लम व्हिच हैज फेस्ड मोस्ट ऑफ आवर पेरेंट्स और एल्डरली पीपल इन आवर फैमिली और इन आवर सराउंडिंग्स मेजोरिटी ऑफ द पेशेंट्स एव द एज ऑफ फिफ्टी फाइव एटलीस्ट विजिट टू अ डॉक्टर और एन ऑर्थोपेडिक सर्जन क्लिनिक basically for knee pain at least once in their lifetime these knee pains are very peculiar to these people because they have started gradually over a period of time and it has increased so much so that even the simple menial tasks of day to day life becomes a challenge over a period of time now our indian people are very well tolerant to the pain so they won't tell you that they have knee pain but how you can know that they are suffering with it their social life has decreased all the activities which used to help them keep pace with the life have decreased over a period of time like a simple act of going to a vegetable seller or going to a market to do their chores or simple act of meeting their friends in the apartments and going for various social functions that has decreased over a period of time so this tells us a story the story is they are maybe restricting their lifestyle and probably the pain is the limiting factor over there and they don't want to burden you with these issues now the times have changed the lifestyle have changed the overall mortality rate the life expectancy the quality assisted life years has improved in india considerably compared to what it was about 15 to 20 years back most people want to enjoy their life to be fullest and it is our duty to help the senior citizens or the elderly in our family to relieve them of this debilitating pain and give them a life they want to enjoy or make them more productive in their senior years the simple most answer is it is a age related knee pain considering our indians have got a very peculiar type of lifestyle like sitting on the floors sitting cross leg many of them would have used indian toilets which was a vogue up till 20 25 years back for a long long time so they take a toll on the knee over a period of time most of the osteoarthritis are degenerative in nature they are not hereditary there is no loss of fluid in the knee while this happens the fluid remains the same but it is because of excessive wear and tear because of various lifestyle issues that leads to deformity and pain in the knee over a period of time generally in the case of ladies it starts a little bit early post their menopause because osteoporosis is one of the leading causes of it the weight remains the same the bone becomes a little weak it will lead to little bit of deformity to start with initially and as they will continue to ignore it they will start to decrease the pain it starts with little bit of deformity initially and if ignored can lead to gradually increasing varus or the bony is which is most commonest and in rare cases a valgus or a knock knees knock knees are generally more painful because it is not natural to have a knock knees compared to the bow legs a simple visit to an orthopedic surgeon and a standing x-ray will tell us the whole story probably we cannot do anything to go away but we can manage it so there are various grades of arthritis starting from grade 1 to grade 4 grade 1 2 3 are can be very well managed with medications physiotherapy exercises and loss of weight also a little bit of lifestyle modifications like sitting cross leg on the floor not using indian toilets and keeping oneself limited to the western lifestyle so this should take care of arthritis starting from grades 1 to grade 2 they can very often develop degenerative meniscal tear which are again managed conservatively because meniscus is one structure which will help us and which will guard the obvious onset of arthritis in these cases now coming to grade 4 now you have been diagnosed with a grade 4 osteoarthritis it means the meniscus is out of picture here and there is bone to bone friction causing to increase of pain increase in swelling increase in deformity so every step here in some cases even at rest there is a severe amount of pain which is debilitating in nature and completely restricts one's activities 
if the simple measures will be if a patient was not a diabetic but over a period of time has become a diabetic he or she was not a hypertensive over a period of time have become hypertensive so in those cases what happens is we come to know maybe the activity the pain the suffering has increased and leading to all these lifestyle conditions